Hi, this is Kara. Welcome to my channel. Uh, first, I have to apologize for my voice. If you hear anything weird, uh, partially it is because I was sick for the past week, uh, but I'm recovering now and I'm doing this video. Uh, so today we're going to see a process of how to create uh, a drawing from a picture. Uh, it is similar but not the same. In order to make sure uh, the things I added uh, will be uh, working together as expected. I started with uh, some very uh, noisy sketchy thing on a sketchbook. And so this is the initial draft I'm showing on the left. So after you're happy with your sketch, you can start uh, uh, actually putting a sketch on the more expensive watercolor paper. So uh, here I skip the step and directly move to uh, the step where I'm using a black ink pen to go through uh, the edges. So for people watching my video for the first time, uh, my name is Kara and uh, I'm a software engineer. I'm not a professional artist and I'm doing videos mainly to show you that you can actually enjoy uh, joy and painting without being a professional. As a non-professional drawer, uh, one thing that hinder, hinders me most at the beginning is what can I draw? So to get started, the best thing is to think about how to draw the things you actually see. Like from a picture. Uh, pictures can have different uh, difficulties as well. Uh, if I have to rank them, I think static objects are usually easier than animals, and animals are usually easier than drawing humans. So if you just started uh, for the first time, I would recommend you to draw houses, or trees, or, uh, or flowers to start with. you can see I'm using some tape to secure this uh, paper uh, onto a movable hard surface uh, so that it can stay flat while uh, I'm applying uh, the watercolors. So don't be afraid to get started with uh, some lighter colors. Your picture won't be looking as pretty as you want to be, uh, but that's an important step to set up the, uh, the base colors. As long as the color is light, uh, you can still make changes to uh, the, the toes a little later if you're not happy with that. I don't plan to follow exactly what the color combination is like for the picture. Instead, I want my picture to be uh, brighter and more colorful. I'm trying to apply some uh, lighter shades of grey to the uh, houses uh, to mimic the sunlight effect. Uh, another difficulty I face as a noob uh, in drawing is how to create uh, natural shades and shadows and highlights uh, uh, in, a, in a right way. So this is another advantage of using a uh, photo because that way you can actually see what light is doing uh, in reality. So it can actually help you understand uh, the process better.
Now for the objects other than the houses, uh, we apply the same process with applying a uh, base background color and then add uh, more colors to it. Uh, the difference you can see is that uh, the houses are really inspired by the picture, but the rest of the things are actually more just a, a creation. Uh, the fact that you can uh, uh, apply things that doesn't exist in reality to a picture uh, makes it uh, even more interesting uh, for uh, this process. So here I'm applying uh, some acrylic uh, pen to create some highlights. So this is it that uh, will make the uh, picture look brighter. So now I'm using color pencils to make the drawing even uh, more detailed. Uh, so this includes some uh, of the patterns on the wall to make it uh, look better. finished uh, this is the final result uh, and I think it looks pretty good so I did add uh, a few details that make this very different from the original picture so you can see a poster says wanted car on the post uh, a guy riding a bike and there's also uh, some birds uh, fly in the sky I hope you liked the work we completed together today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, Carrie is here. See you next time.